Lord Karen broke the first seal in the land of Taonians. The Dark Dreamer, overlord of his homeworld, the master of the fallen race, gave to Karen a boon for his success. He made Karen his avatar of darkness, his harbinger. With the Knights of Taonia defeated, Karen turns his attentions to the lands of the beasts, where the other two seals are to be found. Our spies tell us that the humans of Noran still fail to realize their true danger. We are much pleased that you open the first seal. You are favored by the blessings of the Dark Dreamer. He has transformed you into an avatar of his will. Our victory is assured. I can feel the stone's power awakening. Its song calls me. And when the stone comes alive, what then? What will you use this Heart of the Void for? It is a tool crafted by the Dark Dreamer many ages past. Among its uses it allows travel between worlds, but it will do much, much more, Princess. It will make of this world a province of our own dark plane of existence. This is but one of many stones seeded on countless worlds. Our forebears arrived here after the stone. The two fathers stepped upon the world in order to open the gate. It was Ruan and Flamebringer who found the stone and built his accursed tower around it. Ruan defeated the two fathers, and thus our long centuries of planning began. You take a risk, lords, not attacking. What happens if the humans realize the true nature of the stone and destroy it? The stone is only vulnerable when the process of incorporation begins. We must retrieve the second seal. It is hidden within the lands of the beast tribes. Our agents have constructed a base some ways from the second seal. Your task is to find the third seal and to release the two fathers. Fangrath will tend to the opening of the second seal.